lot at stake here for Dave and James. The winner getting into the closed qualifier, and you can see Dave Cavanaugh right back on the course, and he is moving right along. Dave takes an early lead from the cargo net. Let's see how he handles this transfer to the second wagon wheel. Smooth swing and a smooth transfer to the rope. He sits down for a third time, and James again struggling on that wagon wheel. And now you can see he's using a little bit more time to rest. I wonder if that'll make a difference. James has been hanging this whole time. So although they are pretty even on time, they are not even on energy. Yeah, that's interesting that Dave decided to rest so long so early because we haven't really seen that from anyone. See if it makes a difference. And you can see Dave has taken his time on this board and they're gonna race for the rooftop Oh, but a stumble from James means we will not, unfortunately, get both athletes on the rooftop at the same time. Nevertheless, Dave threw rooftop rumble first. What's key is that Dave now has a slight advantage heading into the flying fish. But it looks like they're going to go at about the same time. Actually, James is going to go a bit earlier. Very interesting right now. This is their fifth run on this course today, and you can tell fatigue really starting to get to Dave Cavanaugh. James, meanwhile, looks like this might as well be his first run in terms of fatigue, but certainly not his first in mastering this course. Dave getting to his fingertips. This might be it, folks. Oh, I am really surprised at, at oh, we got Dave there. struggling at the girder. That is shocking to me. He's really got to shake it out here because yeah. he fell a moment ago on the Monstro climb, but James Sanella has not gotten through this off. Oh, I take that back. He did get through this obstacle in the first round. Gotcha. Yep. I got a feeling that Dave might be playing the hope your opponent falls at this point, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It didn't work for him in the last round. It's going to come down what to... What is James doing? He's chalking the girder. Interesting. Okay. Dave goes first. That's interesting, too. Good sign. Makes that jump. That's what got him last time. But already starting to pump out. Now he's fallen yeah, oh, on the floating no. ledge. James just has to complete this obstacle. He this doesn't even have to. He reached it first. So he's already oh moving God. on. And he falls, too. And But like I said, James reached the, uh, the Monstro climb first. So he is moving on to our finals. That is an excellent point, Will. It is furthest the fastest. James further through the seven obstacles that they got through. And you could tell Dave just running out of gas on that girder. And that is what cost him a spot in the closed qualifier. Wow. I am just shocked that David is not moving on to the closed qualifier. But I think that really shows the level of competition that we will be having compete this week. And I want to point out before we go here, James Sanella has struggled on those wagon wheels, really in all three races, but he's made it back up, especially in this race. Even though he didn't take as many rests as Dave, he had the energy to get through the boardwalk at about the same pace. And that made the difference just as much as Dave running out of gas. You know what they say, it's a marathon, not a sprint, and I think this race really proved it.